A lot of people have been asking what I'm going to do with my old case since I got this new uh, Cor uh, Corsair Carvide 300R, which what as what you're looking at right now is pretty freaking sweet. Um, yeah, it's an awesome case, and yes, that fan isn't running. I already explained this in my past videos, so I'm gonna have another fan running down there. So yeah. Anyway, yeah, that's my new case for anyone who doesn't know. But a lot of people have been asking, the hell am I going to do with this one? Well, originally, I made a video, and it was uploaded a couple of hours ago, but I believe only 13 people saw it, so that was actually kind of good in this case, because I didn't, uh, I didn't really, uh, okay, let me just tell you what I originally wanted to do. Originally, I wanted to take my 1996 custom-built computer, and take all the parts out of it and put it in here. But uh YouTube user I am fat32, which cool username by the way, that's creative. Uh anyway, he mentioned that that computer has an AT motherboard which I knew about. I knew that it did, but I forgot about it because I haven't been in that computer in oh, probably a year or two. It's been about a year or two since I opened up that computer. And I never really took note of, you know, what type of motherboard it was, since everything is just so crammed in there with messy cables everywhere and everything. But apparently, um, it does have an AT, uh, like a 5-pin DIN connector on the back of it. So it is an AT motherboard. Or, yeah. So it is an AT motherboard and an AT case, and so it won't work. This is an ATX case. So, what I've decided to do is... Uh, People who who have been watching my videos for uh, two years or so should know about this. A long time ago, back in 2011, I found an HP Pavilion computer in the trash, uh, in the dumpster. It was literally literally in the dumpster, and it worked just fine. Uh, right now, that computer is in disrepair. It I believe it has a motherboard, processor, RAM, and power supply, and I think I have a. 90 millimeter case fan. Yes, I do. Anyway, I'll get to that later. Uh, the computer is non-operational right now. It's the hard drive is non-working. I don't think there's any hard drive in it. In other words, uh, it's just not functioning right now. But what I plan to do is I plan to take the motherboard, at, motherboard, processor, RAM, and optical drive. No, just the motherboard, processor, and RAM out of that computer and put it in here. Now. I have an Antec 350 watt power supply right here, circa 2006. Um, yeah, so there's all the connectors for it. But I'm just going to use that because I know it's a trusted power supply. I've used it before in other computers, and it's a good power supply. So I'm just going to use that in here. Um, but the HP is a, I believe, an ATX or a micro ATX motherboard. I know this for a fact. So. It is a small case, so I, it's a little bit smaller than this one. So I think it might be a micro ATX motherboard, um, but I'll figure it out tomorrow. But I know it'll work in this case. Uh, so yeah, I'm just going to put that in there. So technically, this is going to be an HP computer in a different case. It's going to be an HP motherboard, but I'm not going to call it an HP computer um, because I and I have a black optical drive that I'm going to put in here too. Uh, so it won't really be an HP computer, just an HP motherboard, and it'll have the HP BIOS splash screen and all that crap. But whatever. Yeah, I have a black optical drive, like I said. Uh, I think that these front panel connectors will work. I'm not entirely sure. Oh, yeah. Th yes, they will work because I know the case that it's in right now, which is the original HP case, has these same front panel connectors. So all i got to do is swap those and I'll be good. So, yeah, that should work just fine. Um, yeah, that's really all I have to say. Uh, so tomorrow, I'll be doing that tomorrow night, and uh, yeah, I'm going to be recording it all, so that'll be cool. And like I said, I have a 90 millimeter fan that I can just mount in the, bleh, voice crack, I can just mount in the back of this thing. It has fan holes for 80, 90, and 120 millimeter fans, so I'm going to put that 90 millimeter in there. It does, L it does light up, it has four LEDs on it, so it's kind of cool. Uh, one thing I do like about this case is one of the really only good things about this case is that it comes with a crap load of screws. Uh, so you never have to worry about be coming short on screws. My Corsair came with a crap load of screws too and they were all uh, sorted by thread size so that was even better than this. But um, yeah, so basically yeah, this is my old Raid Max case and I'm just going to put that motherboard in there 
and build a computer out of it. So stay tuned for that episode of Della 304. That's going to be, I'm going to record it tomorrow, but it won't be uploaded till Thursday, which is the following day. So yeah, stay tuned for that. And that is what I plan to do with this uh, Raid Max case, since it's relatively new and I don't really want it to go to waste. Yeah, so yeah. Anyway, thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it, and uh, yeah.